today's evening devotional. The exceeding riches of his grace. Growing in grace. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 7. We would never have learned the meaning of this word grace had we not fallen. God loves the sinless angels who do his service and are obedient to all his commands, but he does not give them grace. These heavenly beings know not of grace, they have never needed it, for they have never sinned. Grace is an attribute of God shown to undeserving human beings. We did not seek after it, but it was sent in search of us. God rejoices to bestow this grace on everyone who hungers for it, not because we are worthy, but because we are so utterly unworthy. Our need is the qualification which gives us the assurance that we will receive this gift. But God does not use this grace to make his law of none effect or to take the place of his law. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake, he will magnify the law, and make it honorable. His law is truth. God's grace and the law of his kingdom are in perfect harmony, they walk hand in hand. His grace makes it possible for us to draw nigh to him by faith. By receiving it, and letting it work in our lives, we testify to the validity of the law, we exalt the law and make it honorable by carrying out its living principles. How may we witness for God? By rendering pure, wholehearted obedience to God's law. If we will let him, he will manifest himself in us, and we shall be witnesses, before the universe of heaven and before an apostate world who are making void the law of God, to the power of redemption. There is but one power that can bring us into conformity to the likeness of Christ, that can make us steadfast and keep us constant. It is the grace of God that comes to us through obedience to the law of God.